Hey everyone, this is Kinda Gamer here, and I'm back with another demo in this part of the demo series. This is demo disc number six, uh, volume two, is part of the place one uh, demos. Now this continues only from the fifth demo, and again it'll be the same loading screen as it was before, but obviously different demos. So when the menu comes up, I'll just uh, go through them. Right, here we are. We've got Kurushi, Actua Golf 2, Hercules, that's a video, Overboard, and Rally Cross. So, I think I will start with Kurushi. Now, I was going to say as well that it might just not just be PS1 demos all the time, it will be PS3 demos at some points as well. Like throughout this. I think they'll be doing like a different mix of demos, not just PS1 demos all the time, but like PS3 demos as well. I mean, I've got a couple of PS2 demos, but I might just save them for the end. Okay, Kurushi demo disc. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you might be familiar with this game. Some of you might not be familiar, but I could go over the rules just now, in case you don't know. And I think I might have to go through the rules actually just now, just to make sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, I think what I might do is just go for each reels one by one. That's very Basic rules. Okay, here we go. The concept of the game is to try to capture the cubes. Okay, all right. The player can mark a spot on the stage by pressing the X button. Oh, there you go. By pressing the X button again, the player can deactivate the mark. The game is played by marking a spot and then successfully deactivating the spot. Now, let's try to capture a cube. First, mark the spot where a cube should be captured. When the cube is about to land on the marked spot, press the X button. The marked spot is then deactivated, and the cube is captured. Repeat this to capture all the necessary cubes. If any cubes are left to fall off the stage, the number of fallen cubes will be calculated on the block scale. Every time the number of fallen cubes exceeds that of the block scale, the player loses the last row of the stage. The player must prevent the cubes from falling off the stage. When the player is avalanched by the cubes and falls off the stage, it's game over. Alright, well there you go. <laughs> There's 800, the score they got there. IQ is measured against the player's efficiency <laughs> in capturing the cubes, as well Zero. as the total number of cubes captured. Oh come on, really? Zero for that? That was just a demo, that, that can not be zero. Surely it's more than zero. Now, another couple of things I was going to mention as well. Um, the Forbidden Cube is the uh, black cube. Now what that does is if you capture that, it takes away the row of your, your squares. And with the Advantage Cube, that's the green cube. That actually, if you capture that one, you can capture multiple cubes by pressing triangle to activate that. So I'll show you that. Let's see what I can do. Right, here we go. Let's get this going. On the second stage. The music actually makes me nervous. Don't know why. It just makes me nervous. Just because it's like so. Right. Now, that's a vanish cube capture. Now, watch this. Now, I can capture all those cubes. Now, I don't want to capture that uh, um, forbidden cube. Okay. 
Okay, oh god, no. Oh, that was... Now, that was kind of... <laughs> very bad. I got crushed by the cubes, and if, if that happens, you have to do that puzzle all over again. And I lost a row of squares because of that, so I need to be very careful next time. So, let's do this again. Actually, having this without music is kind of scary, I think. Okay, so let's capture that. Okay, and... That. There we go. Now, uh, these roll off. Okay, I think that's it. Well, there we go. We've gained another row. Now, here's the next bit. Now, let's capture these vanished cubes. So we have some spaces to capture these ones. Now, I don't want to capture that forbidden cube. That's stuck in the middle there, as you can see. I just want to wait for that to roll forward a bit. Right now, I can capture this all crap. Shouldn't have done that. That's going to prove my perfect. Right. That's basically taking away that row. And I can't get these ones. Oh, here comes the next row. Okay, and try to capture these ones again. I have to say, I've never done this perfectly before without getting a game over, so it'll be interesting to see how I get on here. Okay, and let that roll forward. And that was my fault again. I lost two. Oh no. <laughs> this is not going to end well for me. Yeah, I'll just capture these two blocks and just let these two roll off. Great. Now, I'm going to have to do this like now. As long as I get through the stage, that's all that really matters to me anyway. I need to be careful of capturing those uh, vanished cubes. I just need to let these ones go forward. Right. Mark that there, I'm going to capture that one that's behind that forbidden cube. Yeah, as you can see in the top right corner as well, there's rotations. If you can do it under the amount of rotations, then you get some extra points, I think. Yeah, I didn't get anything there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and... Okay, that was close. Too close to comfort, actually. Okay. Ah! No, that's gonna fall off. This gonna be another rule lost. Okay, maybe not. Thought I would have done another rule lost, but no. Okay, another one. It's actually taken quite a while, actually. I thought this would have been over by now, but no. I think if I get a game over, then it's over, so... Alright, here we go. That was a good one. That's better than all the other... most ones I did anyway before. Okay, let these forward, let these forward. There we go! Cancel that one. Let these all roll off. There we go, we've got another row. Now that's going to produce another row. Where's that stopping? There we go. Crap, okay. I'm very close to the edge. This is going to not turn out well for me. Yeah, I'm going to get game over here. Crap, just roll forward. I've lost a another rule. At least I've got some space now. And that's all I was wanting to do is just get some space. Find that your major so these roll forward. There we go. But all that's gonna roll off. And I've missed all those other cubes. There was another 
another row. Right. And still good though, despite me losing some rows, I'm still good. Right, let's capture this one as well. What am I at? 10 minutes, okay, this is gonna have to end at some point. Otherwise, this is probably gonna go over the, the time limit, I think, but... And I can't pause this, so I can't officially, like, end this. And this is no... Yeah, I'm near a bit closer to getting, getting over, actually. I'm pretty much cornered here, unless if I can capture these two. Yeah, I got to let that one roll off and those two as well. Okay, I find this is the final roll. No! <laughs> oh god, game over. What did I get for score actually? What did I get? 21,200, that's pretty good. But what was my IQ though, I wonder. <laughs> oh, 11, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's something in the way. Well, I did not too bad. I think that whole video was just based on the Kurushi demo, so I hope you guys enjoyed that demo. I I enjoyed it in the way it was pretty scary. But very tense in the way playing that game. But I'm going to be moving on to the next demo and the next part. So I hope you enjoyed this first part of me playing Demo 6 as part of the PS1 demo series that I'll be doing along with, well, PS3, depending on what your thoughts are on this. Leave your comment down below on this. And please like the video as well. And please sh be sure to subscribe for more videos of the demo series. And when I come back, I'll be doing Actual Golf 2. Until then, this is Kinda Gaming here signing off. And I'll see you guys next time for more of the demo series. So then, I'll see you later and goodbye.